In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about nanotechnology, wherein we will study introduction, techniques of manufacturing nanomaterials, fullerene, carbon nanotubes, their properties and applications, nanowires, hackerlites, and the application of nanomaterials. Let's start with the introduction first. The word nanotechnology was first used by the American physicist Richard Finman during his lecture at an American Physical Society meeting in Caltech on December 29, 1959. Nano is a very small range. One nanometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 meters. Nanotechnology is defined as the design, characterization, production and application of structures, devices and systems by controlling the shape and size on the nanometer scale. Let's study nanomaterials now. Materials comprising of particles with a size between 1 to 100 nanometers are considered as nanomaterials. These objects are very small and cannot be seen without a powerful electron microscope. The diameter of a human hair also varies between 17 micrometers to 180 micrometers. So one can imagine how small a nanomaterial would be. Let's study the manufacturing of these nanomaterials. They can be manufactured by two methods, top to bottom, building something by starting with a larger piece and carving away the material, like a sculpture, bottom up, building something by putting together smaller pieces like a bicycle or a car engine. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Let's study about fullerene now. The well-known allotropes of carbon are graphite and diamond. Nanotechnology has helped to get the third allotrop of carbon, fullerene, C60. This molecule was named after R. Buckminster Fuller and was first isolated in 1990. This structure resembles a soccer ball, having alternate patches, hence the nickname given to fullerene was buckyball. Moving forward, we will learn about carbon nanotubes. Carbon particles such as graphene sheets are made into tubular forms called as carbon nanotubes. They have a diameter of few nanometers and length of few micrometers. Each nanotube is made up of a hexagonal network of covalently bonded carbon atoms. Carbon nanotubes are of two types, single walled nanotube and multi walled nanotube. Due to such structures, these CNTs show electronic, mechanical, optical and chemical characteristics, which make them highly useful for many applications. Different properties of CNTs are electrical conductivity, strength and elasticity, thermal conductivity and expansion, field emission and high aspect ratio. Its applications are as a catalyst support, in batteries of fuel cells, as electrodes in electrochemistry, as nanotube sensors, as diodes, transistors and capacitors, as membranes for molecular transport. The next concept is nanowires. A nanowire is extremely thin wire with a diameter of the order of few nanometers. There are two processes by which nanowires are manufactured, suspension method and deposition method. Let's study what are nanocones. Carbon nanocones were discovered in 1994, which are the simplest example of the nanostructured carbon. They are made of hexagonal plane with different number of pentagonal defects. These pentagonal defects produce a positive inclination, similar to these Heptagonal defects are also observed which provide negative inclination. The presence of pentagons and heptagons in fullerene modifies its electrical properties. Thus, a new hypothetical type of graphene sheet is proposed which allows these pentagonal and heptagonal defects provided the number is same. Hence, negative inclination due to heptagons will be balanced by the positive inclination of pentagons. These arrangements are known as hackelites in honor of Ernst Haeckel, a German zoologist.
Properties of hackalites are as follows. They show metallic behavior. Hackalite tubes maintain the stiffness of classic CNTs. Hackalite also exhibit local rugosity due to local curvature introduced by the presence of heptagons and pentagons. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Nanomaterials find very wide applications in all fields. In nanomechanics, nanotubes with 30 micrometer diameter are used to produce helmets, bulletproof clothes, etc. Nanotubes are also used in the medical field as they are extremely small in size. The applications of nanotubes in electronics mainly include flat panel displays, batteries, magnetic materials, etc. In general, application of nanotubes include clays, paints, fuel additives, ceramics, military battle suits, sunscreen and cosmetics. Let's take a quick review of what we have learnt. The word nanotechnology was first used by the American physicist Richard Finman. Nano is very small range. 1 nanometer equals 10 raised to minus 9 meters. Next, we studied about nanomaterials. Materials comprising of particles with a size between 1 to 100 nanometers are considered as nanomaterials. These nanomaterials are manufactured by two methods as top to bottom method building something by starting with a larger piece and carving away the material and bottom up method building something by putting together smaller pieces. We also studied about the third allotrope of carbon fullerene C60. This molecule was named after R. Buckminster Fuller and was first isolated in 1990. This structure resembles a soccer ball having alternate patches hence the nickname given to fullerene was buckyball. We also studied two types of nanotubes such as single-walled nanotube and multi-walled nanotube. Each nanotube is made up of a hexagonal network of covalently bonded carbon atoms. Next, we studied nanocones which are the sheets of hexagonal structure of carbon with pentagonal defects in it which gives them the shape of a cone. Next concept was hackalites. Hackalites are nanocones in which pentagonal and heptagonal defects are kept equal to balance the positive and negative inclination respectively. Lastly, we studied the application of nanotechnology in various fields such as nanomechanics, medical, electronics and few general applications such as sunscreen and cosmetics, military battle suits, etc.